very risky, and we already know that oh, Jax okay. against Hail of Blades can be very strong. So Hail of Blades Zinjao can't just burn you down with nothing more. This is very much about that as mid lane. BDD's got one spell, maybe. Oh, there you go. Has the vision as well. Easy. So hard to land it, but now there's no whimsy. There's the flash into the stun, and here comes the three-man gank. Grease in a ton of trouble. It's just going to be ulted down. And in fact, BDD picks up the kill. Here we go. The rotation coming on in from the bottom side. Abyssal Voyage is available. Blue buff goes the way I'm all wrong. Here comes the TP. From the bottom side, Abyssal Voyage on the top side as Zenit gets super low. In that fight, we got two going on at the same time. Stun onto BDD, but he gets away. Root also incredibly low. Also watch the top side here, Linderong. Gonna be put out of that ultimate, but Balrong jumping on in. Gets a big ultimate onto three. Jinair now S5 trying to jump away, but there's the double stun. Out of score, able to get two of them picked away. And Linderong has to run away with his tail between his Finished legs. Finished the run of ages at an early enough timing. 26 oh minutes till that's ready. Is that's a lot of members of KT. Nice help by Valrong to try to save Grace. He might be able to. There's the ultimate from Urga, but the coming in from the bottom side is Root and Kellen. Another big fight coming in here as the Urgot in a ton of trouble. I said it goes down too. Linderong is gonna be totally fine on the Aatrox. And here comes Jinair. They want to fight back as Snowflower down to the gray health. And they finish him off under the turret. Doesn't look like it, but Jin Air able to strike back in the next fight. KT just too tricky this time. The first time it was about Jin Air's poor entrance into the fight. This time KT turned on and not able to actually get the same separation they pulled off in the first skirmish of the game. They pushed through mid. They want the first turret blood. But right now, KT do have LeBlanc up. They're just trying to clear the waves as best as they can, but can't really do it effectively. Down goes the first turret to the, the side of side towards this Cloud Drake. Scuttle here is taken and sent it in a lot of trouble. Once again, has to flash away. There is the Devour, and now Linderong once again distracting the rest of the team as Snowflower and Zenit are going to go down towards that Cloud Drake. Just kind of out of position. Nice clamp down there by Jin Air. BDD, he's trying desperately. He wants it so bad. But only one kill on the support will go the way of the LeBlanc. But it happens again. Trucks in the back line. He's got the revive. He's able to buy time, but he might be dead anyway. Now BDD has so much damage. Is able to distort away from that one. There is the stun. BDD will really can't side lane against this LeBlanc. No teleport. No magic resist other than the Merc Treads. Seems to just be going for some utility. When you hit level 16 on LeBlanc, you cure all the Lulu, she has half health. You wait for your cooldown in about 10 seconds, and then all Lulu can do is vacate the lane. On five, no split pushing with the LeBlanc just yet. They want the objective first, and they will, after all, get it. They don't really care about this Ocean Drake right now. Grace just won't be able to side lane against LeBlanc. Don't agree with the okay. summon. It's funny to say that about KT. They want to prove me wrong here, getting on top of Kellen. Nice amount of damage there. And he get popped. The stopwatch comes in, and here's the Root nearly actually takes out BDD on the backside. Now Balrong getting on in there. Score in a little bit of trouble. is going to have to hop away. And there he goes. Down goes the figure. Do notice that Lulu is not grouped. She was dealing with LeBlanc. LeBlanc's going to get there first. Trying to hop on into Kellen now. Root is going to get exhausted, but still doing a lot of damage. In goes Linderong, trying to pop him. But here's BDD into the back line. Is able to get one. Chains go on to the Aatrox. He's forced Scores to over the wall. They're going to try. Jinez not grouped. Oh, boy. BDD does a nice chunk of damage to Root. And there's the TP into the backside by Smeb. Is able to take out Malrong. And now on the re-engage, KT actually able to take away this Cloud Drake. Big mistake on the map read there. Even though they have a We lead. are not past 30 minutes, but we actually are as the game has been dragging on. And Malrong, oh boy, he's nearly going to go down. As an Ignite ticket, he's just going to die after the stop. Idea one. into KT's mind, but they're not going to stick on it. They've only got four <laughs> members, and they will be spotted on Vision. Yeah, they put the idea into the minds of KT and immediately snatched it away, saying, no, 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 just kidding. We're not going to start it and score. Going to ascend. Here comes the flank again. This time, score going one on one on Tamara. Not able to jump on in. And Root beginning to front line there against the Jacks with no counter. And there he goes in. Kellen going to be picked away by BDD on the top side. And Root is just going to be pulled into his death as finally they're able to get the play onto the big pitch. And this should be a quick Baron to the side of KT. 
After all, no distractions here in the Baron pit. Takes a bit long, but they make it happen. BDD picks up this another will kill. come in, and nobody on the side of Jin Air is strong enough to go up against BDD. Now score can be a side laner as well. See Jax on the top side taking down Inner Turrets with the Baron buff. I believe he has Trinity Force too, but I might be yep. telling you a lie. So able to have plenty of threat. He can even solo down carries. So speaking oh, of soloing down carries. That's why uh, nobody can really side lane against BDD. Thankfully, he doesn't have blue buff, but it's not going to matter as KT Rolster is going to push three inhibitors, maybe rotated into a, well, two inhibitors into a third one, perhaps. But in fact, ladies are down as now Zenit. He wants to be the frontliner as well. They're going to back off of that. Elder, there's the four man stun from score as he gets into the back line. And here is Smev. It's going to be a total rout of a fight this time around. Double kill on the side of KT. Linderong has to be killed three times as he is the Guardian Angel Aatrox, but they're not even gonna bother. They're just gonna push in and finally take game number one. Finally, the game will end 45 minutes. It took KT Rolster, gave themselves a tricky one with a draft that made it hard for them to actually grow a lead. They just waited and waited, and Jinnair, unfortunately, they return to their old game plan. They wait alongside KT. They couldn't afford to do that. And it doesn't matter how big Lucian was, KT Rolster will take game number one. Took a little while, but a 